So you may have come across the YouTuber Karen Strawn, otherwise known as Girl Writes What, or perhaps you've even seen her speak in person. If you've not heard of her though, I suppose I'd describe her as a fairly popular anti-feminist, has been known to speak out against what she sees as female privilege. She's a men's rights activist. I've been listening to a few of the podcasts on Honey Badger Radio. Karen and several other women, and sometimes men, contribute to these radio shows. I think quite a lot of different people are involved with the Honey Badger thing. Yeah, you listen to a couple of podcasts, you don't have to listen for too long to realise that an agenda is being pushed, not too gently. Opponents are being painted into a corner. And happenings, events are reported on and discussed in a way which fits in with the general narrative. From the listener's perspective, easy listening this ain't. It's messy, people talking over each other, cutting each other up, certain individuals droning on and on, talking about one thing then going off on a tangent. Yeah, Karen seems like an intelligent, warm and articulate lady. She can hold my attention as she lays out an argument but I've noticed, as with quite a few intelligent and articulate individuals, she does seem to enjoy the sound of her own voice, and she does drone on, which doesn't make for great radio. But on the other hand, she does seem very confident, sure of herself, sure of her views, a person comfortable in her own skin. Karen was doing a Q&A thing on Honey Badger fairly recently. Just want to pick up on a couple of things that were said. She answered a very loaded question about the supposed toxicity in the feminist community. She defines feminism as a set of hypotheses, or an ideological construct with toxic axioms, and the ideology doesn't have anything meaningful or just to say about the world. Well, thinking about individuals who self-identify as feminists, I would say there are many folks who have meaningful and just things to say about the state of the world. There's a big old backlash right now against this particular wave of feminism. Yeah. There are some obnoxious, strident people out there spouting their views in a hostile and counterproductive way in the name of feminism. But you get obnoxious, perhaps not too bright people involved in a wide variety of social and political movements, do you not? Yeah, we can't tar everyone with the same brush. I know it isn't popular in certain circles to point out that yes, men have oppressed women throughout history and continue to do so. By no means are all men oppressors and by no means are all women in the world the hapless victims of men. Yes, and there are some very nasty women out there, nasty oppressive women. Having said that, I believe the world could be a considerably fairer place than it currently is. And if we want that place to become a reality, then egalitarianism has to be a part of the plan. Yeah.
The foundation of feminism is toxic and hateful, according to Karen. There are different forms or strains of feminism, of course. Not everyone is reading from the exact same script. I would say... Karen deals in generalisation sometimes, trying to appeal to her target audience, I think. Let me just say on a personal note, for a 44-year-old woman, Karen looks really good. Daily bathing in the fountain of youth, perhaps. Whatever it is she's doing, she should keep doing it. Maybe it's something in the water, wherever it is she lives. Anyway, Karen answers a question on radical feminism in the radio show I was listening to. And she touches on first and second wave feminism, distinguishing them from third wave or modern feminism. And she admits that in the past feminism did some good. Did some good things. She seemed reluctant to admit it. And Karen names Christina Hoff Summers, a person who self-identifies as a feminist, as one of the sanest, most rational people she can think of. I should say Christina coined the term equity feminist. She wrote a book called Who Stole Feminism? If you take the time to look into feminism as a movement in the Western world, or I should say movements, plural, you find much internal struggle. Yeah. Ideas, ideals, worldviews clashing with one another. For the minds of the people, battling for the minds of the people. On another question, Karen talks a bit about Islamic societies. I don't know how extensive her knowledge is on the internal workings of, say, countries like Qatar or Saudi Arabia. Anyway, she says anything feminism does is going to abandon men penalise or condemn the men. Feminism ignores the typical male and focuses on only the men at the apex of society. Men are a collective and should be judged by the actions of the most powerful among us. This being Karen's view on feminism, I can understand why she opposes it. But... I don't see the world as Karen does, and I would question her conclusions. Yeah.